Today I'm going to share with you some frog fishing tips that I use to catch more bass. The first tip that I use is to trim the legs on your frogs. Now a lot of times when you get these frogs from the store, they have these ridiculously long legs on them. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that the length of the legs does not exceed a few inches because you want this bait to have uh, the center of this bait to be where the hooks are. You don't want them to go after the legs, you want them to go after the body. And you raise the likelihood that they will be able to get a good grip on it by minimizing the tail. My second tip is make sure to mark the bottom of your frogs. Now what I mean by this is go ahead and take a magic marker, one with a very fine tip, and just start adding little dots and little um, imperfections on the bottom of your frog. And you might think, you know, why is this? Why would you want to, to do that to it? Um, and really my thought process is if these fish are overpressured, if they're seeing lots and lots of frogs, if you add something to the frog that makes it different than the other frogs that they're seeing, it's going to help these fish that are apprehensive, oftentimes bigger fish that have seen more frogs, it'll help them be able to commit more to that frog. Uh, so what I do is I'll, I'll go and I'll, I'll get a frog, I'll just barely mark it up, just enough to where it looks more natural. And you can, you know, Google pictures of frogs, what they look like on their undersides if you really don't know uh, what to do. And just try to replicate that as much as you can. And I, I buy black or I buy a brown or some sort of earth tone color, and I just go and mark up the bottom of the frog. And you see these frogs, they have tons of detail on the top, and that's the part that the fish doesn't see. That's meant to catch you so that you'll walk out of the store with that frog in, um, in your possession. But yeah, so I like to mark up my frogs and make them look unique. My third tip for catching apprehensive fish is to use frogs that are different than the norm. So for example, something like the Booyah Toad Runner, where it's got a little foot at the end, it adds sort of a, a kicking motion to the frog. Uh, or a frog that may have little, um, little Colorado blades attached to the treble hooks. I've seen a few of those recently, um, as well as uh, frogs with rattles. Uh, those are also very good and they, they add kind of an additional uh, attractive property to the frog um, that can get some of those more uh, apprehensive pressured bass. My final tip is to take the hooks on your frog and bend them upwards just a slight bit. Now what this is going to do, it's going to improve the hookup ratio, but you don't want to bend those hooks to the point at which they're just hanging up on everything. Just a slight bit, you know, no more than 10 degrees, and that's going to improve your hookup ratio um, while also not sacrificing to a significant extent the weedlessness of the bait. If you found this video even slightly informative, don't hesitate to go leave a like, subscribe, and make sure to turn on that notification bell as well, just so that you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads.